Ukraine's infrastructure minister says a ship loaded with corn has departed for Lebanon from the country's port of Odessa. The shipment is the result of a deal between Ukraine and Russia, which was brokered by Turkey and the UN. The agreement was intended to restart exports of wheat and other cranes by guaranteeing safe passage for ships through the Black Sea. Exports had been hunted since the start of Russian invasion, raising concerns about the global food crisis. Ukraine is one of the world's biggest grain producers. About 20 million tons of grain are reportedly stuck in Ukraine waiting for to be exported. The blockade has caused a worldwide grain shortage and price rises, which pushed some countries that are reliant on grain imports, namely in the Middle East and Africa, towards farming. No additional crane shipments are expected to depart Ukraine's Black Sea ports on Monday, the Joint Coordination Center, GCC in Istanbul says. Day and timings for further shipments are still being worked out and will likely only be finalized once the first shipment goes through inspection in Istanbul on Tuesday, according to the GCC. This is the first shipment to leave since Russia began an invasion of the country on February 24. It's carrying over 26,000 metric tons of corn. The vessel will anchor off the coast of Istanbul around 3 p.m. Istanbul time, 8 a.m. ED on Tuesday, Turkish Defense Minister Hulusi Akar said on Monday. Speaking in an interview with Turkey's state-out Anadolu News Agency, Aka said the GCC will inspect the ship. Following inspection, it will proceed to its final destination in Tripoli, Lebanon. Meanwhile, Russia's President Vladimir Putin announced Sunday that the Russian Navy will soon be armed with second hypersonic missiles. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky told Ukrainian civilians still living in the Donetsk region in eastern Ukraine to evacuate on Saturday. The more people leave Donetsk region now, the fewer people the Russian army will have time to kill. Zelensky said in the video address Saturday, the president said the Russian army is trying to strengthen its positions in the occupied areas of southern Ukraine by moving troops from the east to the regions of Kherson and Zaporizhia. This is BVS News. Thanks for listening and see you in the next videos.